Hello, my beautiful people. Today, I am sharing 10 bad beauty mistakes that you are probably making. Yes, you watching this video, you probably do this stuff. I mean, so do I. Heck, half the time I'm, I'm, I'm doing these mistakes and I'm like, no, stop. You're doing it wrong. I'm going to share these beauty mistakes with you and how to fix them. It'll make your life easier, but you will also look better. So let's get started. Okay, the very first bad beauty mistake involves shaving. Now I'm not saying you shouldn't shave and I'm not even saying you're shaving wrong per se, but let's be honest, shaving is annoying and time consuming. And it also is just annoying in the fact with the, just the razor burns and like the nicks and the, the rashes, it's really just the razor burns for me. I really genuinely truly think that there is a much more efficient, less time consuming, better way for hair removal. And no surprise here is definitely Kenzie. So huge thank you to Kenzie for sponsoring this video. This is no surprise to people that have been watching me. I've been using this for almost two years now. I'm going to show you, there's a cord coming out of it because it comes all beautifully packaged, but I use mine all the time. So I couldn't get the cord back in. If you end up ordering this, um, I will have it linked down below and you can use my discount code. It's S SE50 and you'll save $50 on the device. And if you do use it, you will start to see results in two to three weeks and then full results in 12 weeks, which is just awesome. So anyway, if you do end up ordering this, it will come with the quick start guide. It's very easy to use, I'll show you. Um, but make sure you take a look at the skin tone chart just so you can kind of compare your skin tone to know what level to use this on. Um, and obviously it comes with the actual device, which is super sleek and nice looking. And then it also comes with the power cord, which I really like that it like never runs out of battery. You just plug it in, it works. You don't have to worry about recharging it. Um, also this, this thing will last you 10 years, 10 years of flashes. So this will last you a very long time. So if you're even wondering exactly like what this is, it's actually an IPL device. So that stands for intense pulse light. So this is not a laser. When you think of hair removal uh, from spas, it's usually a laser and it's very, very painful. It's very expensive. This is much more convenient and it's, it's essentially pain-free. Like this does not hurt me like at all. At the beginning, you do use this once a week. And then like I mentioned, you see the full results around the 12 week mark. And then from that point, you can just use it every few months purely for maintenance. So how this works is it will flash a light. And so it will convert the energy of the light to heat and it will target the melanin in your hair, which is the pigment in your hair. So if you're super light blonde and you don't really have any pigment in your hair, then this isn't going to work very well on you, just so you know. But to actually use it, you just plug it in like this. Uh, there'll be a green light flashing on in the back. You just hit that button to turn it on and then you can hit that button again to adjust the levels. And like I said, I go all the way up to level five. I do it full force and it does not hurt me at all. It kind of just feels like a rubber band slapping you and you just hit this button right here in the center to have it flash. And then you just go over the area that you want to treat. You can also use the glide mode and actually Actually just hold the center button down and it will continually flash and you can just glide it over the area you want to treat. So I've mainly done it on my legs and my bikini line. Uh, you can do it all over your body though, like underarms, you can do your face, you can do your upper lip. Um, this is also amazing for blemishes and acne and sunspots and wrinkles. I actually used it on a sunspot that I had right here and it worked so well. Um, so anyway, if you are interested in giving this a try, like I said, I will have have them linked down below, or you can just go to their website. It's Kenzie.com, which is K-E-N-Z-Z-I.com and use my code SE50 and you can save $50 on this device. I just think it's so much more convenient. It actually works and, and I, I just really, really love it. The next bad beauty mistake you might be making is kind of getting sucked into spending money on volumizing shampoos and conditioners and sprays and <laughs> They don't do anything. Let's let's be honest with it, with each other. Have you actually found one that really makes any visible difference? I didn't think so. Like really, I've never found one. If you actually want to add instant volume to your hair, all you need to do is use a dry shampoo. So your hair could be a thousand percent clean. Like you could have just washed your hair and you don't need dry shampoo. But if you wanna add some zhuzh, some instant volume to it, try a dry shampoo. It could be a cheap one, a more expensive one. Uh, it, it, it really instantly works. Much, much better than any volumizing spray or shampoo and conditioner I've ever found. But that leads me to number three which is for all the people right now saying, but I hate dry shampoo, it, it smells really bad. Which, oh my goodness, they really do smell 
smell bad. Like, ugh. But also, a lot of them leave an annoying white residue on your hair. So I have something for you to try, and it's, you might think I'm crazy, but I'm telling you it works. So it's involving cacao powder. Yes, and I'm not pronouncing that wrong. It's not cocoa powder, it's cacao powder, uh, which is kind of like the cacao bean, or like the unprocessed, like basically where chocolate kind of comes from. And it's, it's really delicious, uh, no sugar in it, doesn't even matter. So just put it in a bowl, um, and then you're gonna take like a makeup brush, like a big puffy, you know, makeup brush, dab it, and then dab it up into your hair. It is a much healthier version of dry shampoo, truly. Like it smells delicious. It smells like chocolatey goodness, but it's not overpowering like so many of those dry shampoo aerosol sprays are, but it also really absorbs all of the oils. It gives your hair some volume and it doesn't leave the annoying white residue in your hair. So if you're super, super blonde, I'm not blonde clearly, so I don't exactly know how this would look in your hair, maybe not so good, but if you're like medium to dark hair, give this a go. I really like it. This next beauty mistake, is a good one. Pay attention guys, this is a recent discovery of mine. I'm sorry if I sound a little geeked out, I'm just so excited about it. Uh, but it has to do with deodorant. You're wearing the wrong deodorant and you're actually using the deodorant at the wrong time. This is a crystal deodorant, it's a mineral salt Oh my gosh, does it work so well. It works differently than the typical deodorant. So I know I've recommended Native in the past, which I do really like. Some people actually hate that. So I'm sorry if I recommended it and you didn't like it, but this is so much better. It is just a mineral salt, completely unscented. It does not stain anything. It's hypoallergenic. You actually just wet this and then apply it. And it actually works different in that it stops the odor causing bacteria from starting. And so you really are just left with no scent at all. It is amazing. So I use this after I get out of the shower, I use it when I'm getting ready, but I've actually recently been using it before I go to bed. And then it kind of works through the night at again, getting rid of that odor causing bacteria. And it just, it just works so well. Ah, future Shay here. I just wanted to insert this quick clip because since filming the video that you are watching, I have continually been shocked at how well this deodorant actually works. And sometimes when something's too good to be true, it's too good to be true. So I don't know, I'm still torn. I just wanted to let you know that the crystal is in fact potassium alum, which is a naturally occurring aluminum salt, which sounds scary. And there's a lot of debate back and forth about whether this is good or bad or healthy or toxic. And I'm totally torn. Uh, it's totally different than the aluminum that's in typical deodorants, which is aluminum chloride. This again is a naturally occurring salt. However, I just wanted you guys to be aware. I wanted to throw it out there. Do your own research, do your own thing. Just wanted to, I just, I needed to tell you. The next beauty mistake is walking around with stained nails. Yes, yeah, so like say you paint your nails red and then go to take off the nail polish and it's just like, now your nails are pink. It doesn't look good. So obviously the easiest way to combat that is you can actually paint like a clear gloss on top and then the color, but I'm here to share with you a, a way, I saw my friend do this and I was just amazed by it. If you ever uh, paint your nails or have, even have your nails done and, and they like take off the color or whatever and it's just left with your with stained nails, you actually just can soak your nails in lemon juice and the lemon juice uh, gets rid of the pigment and it's almost like your good is new. So when I discovered that, I wrote it down. I was like, this is going in a video. The next few mistakes actually have to do with your makeup. So I'm gonna show you the mistake and then also show you the better way to do it. So first up, just applying your makeup in general with a makeup brush. And I'll even demonstrate this with a marker and I feel like you'll be able to visually see exactly what I mean. So when you take a makeup brush, say you are applying blush or you're applying contour or bronzer, never go back and forth. Even with eyeshadow, the same thing applies. Never go back and forth. And so you're gonna see here with this marker, if I go back and forth, the ends of that marker are a lot darker than the center. And that's how people get kind of like a muddy looking patchy face. So to combat this with the marker, if you go in circular motions, you'll see that the overall color is distributed much more evenly. So the same applies to your makeup brush. Make sure you go in circular directions. Now, speaking of bronzer and blush, make sure when you are applying it, you kind of focus a little bit higher than what you might think. So for example, if you notice here, the, the bronzer and the bronzer, the bronzer and the blush, 
Maybe it is blonzer. I feel like I just created a new term. Anyway, it's much more high up on my face. So it just lifts everything up. Whereas if on this side, I didn't go too pronounced. Like I tried to make this subtle so it wasn't very obvious. It's a lot lower. And so I just feel like when you can kind of compare either side, this side is much more lifted. This next trick also has to do with bronzer and, and I forgot to do it today. So see what I mean? I literally forget my own tricks and then I notice a difference afterwards, but it's actually using a bronzer in a completely different way than what you're used to. To, it's taking your favorite shade of bronzer and actually like a pencil type of you know just like a little brush and going around your lips with it like on the outside subtly not like obvious uh, very subtly around your lip like around your lip liner it makes your lips look so much more full so again I did not do it today do my lips look I don't know don't judge my lips, whatever. But I will obviously film it for you so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. I'm telling you, when I remember to do this, I swear my lips look so much better. The next beauty mistake involves your mascara. Again, you're doing it in the wrong order. I still do it in the wrong order too. I always forget, but I came up with this like sometime last month because when I'm applying my mascara, and by the way, if you're wondering, I've I mentioned this before, Gucci mascara. I know it's annoying. It's Gucci. It's luxury. It's not that expensive. It's a little bit more expensive than the average mascara. So worth it. I love this stuff. Anyway, when you apply your mascara, you, you always start with the top lashes, right? I mean, yeah, that's what we do. And then you want to coat your lower lashes and then you do this weird trick. I mean, I do, I see everyone do it. You like go down and it causes your top lashes to then get mascara marks at the top of your lid. That's annoying. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna tell you how to fix that in a second, but all we need to do is just reverse the order. Start with your lower lash line and then do your upper lash line. Now, if you do in fact have the beauty mistake of those darn mascara smudges and, and speckles that we all get, uh, this is how you fix that, okay? Um, you're gonna let it dry. Make sure it's completely dry and then you're gonna go in with this little spoolie. It's basically like a, you know, like an eyebrow spoolie brush. Um, it's kind of hard. Uh, and then you're just going to rub it, just rub it on top of that mascara mark. I swear everyone like says the Kardashians came up with this. I feel like it was like on their show probably like a decade ago and everyone's mind was blown. So I'm not taking credit for this, but maybe some people still watching this video haven't tried it. If you haven't tried it, it, it legitimately works and I, I don't understand it. There you go. So that's the whole video. Man, I hope you enjoyed it. I feel like this was just, I don't know, it, it, very interesting. So I'll have everything that I mentioned linked down below, including Kenzie. Um, and I, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Consider subscribing if you're new and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye.